This is kind of a tricky problem to visualize, where we have a bunch of spiral windings, and we're looking for the length of the spiral winding in total. But the problem does give us a helpful hint about how, if you imagine unwinding the spiral, the area of its path is the same as the area between the largest circle and the smallest concentric circle. So one way we can think about this is that the area of the circle created by the biggest radius, so pi r squared, remember that the formula for the area of a circle is pi r squared, specifically for the larger radius, minus the area of the circle suggested by the smallest possible radius, so pi r1 squared, so pi r2 squared minus pi r1 squared. This is the total area made up on the disk, and this total area is the same as the area occupied by the path once it's unwound, which is an area of the length of the path, what we're trying to find, multiplied by the path's width. So all this is equal to the width of the path multiplied by the length. And that length is what we're trying to find. So to solve this problem, we are going to algebraically solve this equation for L pretty simply by dividing both sides of the equation by the width, W. So to simplify this, I'm going to factor out the pi's. So pi times r2 squared minus r1 squared all divided by W is our answer to part A. So pi times the radius of 5.8 centimeters, or 0 0.058 meters squared, minus the radius of 2.5 centimeters, or 0 0.025 meters squared, all divided by the width of, and the width is given as 1.6 micrometers. So 1.6 times 10 to the power of negative 6 meters. So if we put that into a calculator, then we find a length of about uh, about 5.378 times 10 to the power of 3 meters, which can be rounded to about 5,400 meters. So this is our answer for part A. Part B asks about how much time it takes to scan the disk if it's moving at a speed of 1.2 meters per second. And this is a pretty basic part of the problem. So if we already know that we have a path length of 5.378 times 10 to the power of 3 meters, and this is just kind of a matter of knowing that, hey, one second is equivalent to 1.2 meters. So it's 1.2 meters per second. So we can almost treat this like a unit conversion if we want to, where it's like, hey, 1.2 meters in the denominator per one second. So we're almost just kind of doing a conversion. And speaking of unit conversions, I think this problem actually wants us to write our final answer in units of minutes instead of seconds. So I'm going to do one last unit conversion where we convert from seconds, from 60 seconds, into one minute. So if we put this into a calculator, then we find a time of about 75 minutes. 75 minutes. So that is our answer for part B. And that is it for this problem. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider subscribing or donating to my Patreon, as that'll help me out in making more videos just like this. If you have a request for a future video or a question about this one, leave a comment down below, and I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.